Hey Fishtube, Steven here and this is my annual cleaning on the Fluval FX6 canister filter that has kept this tank clean and clear for almost 4 years. This is a 90 gallon planted aquarium full of rainbow fish and other fun stuff. After that I'll move on to the annual cleaning of my Fluval 407 canister that's been filtering this 50 gallon tank full of crips and tetras, a spotted congo puffer, and coolie loaches. Just trust me that the coolie loaches are there. Now are these supposed to be clean more than once a year? Probably. Is it okay for you to wait this long to clean yours? Nah. I don't know. Should I have cleaned it sooner? I guess. Typically, I know a filter is due for maintenance if the flow has slowed down significantly and cleaning the pre-filter sponge isn't solving the problem. The other less obvious sign a filter could use some maintenance is when all other things unchanged, you start to notice an increase in algae growth. I say all other things unchanged because if you're seeing algae in a tank, there's a laundry list of things to check for. Changes in lighting, feeding, fertilization, new fish, fewer fish, dead fish, and so on. But ruling everything else out, you may have yourself a little nitrate factory in that canister filter. How did that happen? Well, canister filters in particular are really good at what they do. They're good at holding a ton of beneficial bacteria that consumes harmful ammonia and nitrite leading to an output of the less harmful nitrate, the nitrogen cycle. Traditionally, the way most fish keepers keep their nitrate levels under control in an aquarium is by having plants that consume the nitrate as fertilizer and by doing water changes. But the other thing the canister excels at is trapping a lot of waste in a confined area and keeping it there for better or for worse. And that waste continues to accumulate just a little bit faster than it can decompose. And you end up with a bucket of muck that's slowly releasing dissolved organic compounds from waste and debris it picked up weeks ago, as in several water changes ago. And while your beneficial bacteria can probably keep up, you might find your nitrate levels are just a little higher than they were before your last water change and the one before that and so on. And your usual 30%, 50% or whatever water change might have been more than enough at one point, but maybe now it's not enough. And and it's giving way to algae to step in and consume some of those excess nutrients. And for the most part, there is absolutely nothing wrong with algae in your tank. But what about that canister filter full of decaying muck? Well, it's probably fine too, and certainly teeming with beneficial bacteria. Just as long as the water keeps flowing through it, a nitrate factory like a dirty canister is not itself a bad thing. But forget to plug it back in after a water change or lose power overnight, that nitrate factory quickly becomes an ammonia bomb, and that kills fish. So here I am cleaning my canister filters after a year in operation, not because I was seeing reduced flow, which I think is helped by the fact that I only use sponge for mechanical filtration rather than filter floss and polishing pads. I wasn't having any major algae problems yet either, so the only reason I'm cleaning these filters is because it's been a year and it's probably time. Personally, I don't consider it a badge of honor that I technically was able to go this long without maintenance. Instead of waiting for problems to arise, a consistent routine works better for me and for my fish, but we'll save that topic for another time. In case you're wondering, yes, that was tap water I used to rinse my filter media, followed by a soak in buckets of dechlorinated water. There's not much chloramine in my tap water and the exposure time isn't long enough to cause so much bacteria die off that I'm worried about the bio load in my tank but that's my tank, my fish, and my water. And getting to know those three things has been an important part of my experience with fish keeping. Now let me rinse all this crap into the neighbor's yard and I'll see you later. Hey, did you know there's a community of people just like you here on YouTube? You can hang out with us right here on this channel every Friday night at 8.30 p.m. Central for our live stream. And you can find out more about the community, including other live streams at fishfam.link. If you enjoy this video, hit the like and subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks so much and I'll see you later.